The Royals entered the World Series red hot, sweeping every opponent in their way and winning eight straight games this postseason. After five days off, they looked like a different team and lost game one last night to the Giants, 7-1. James Shields was anything but big game James, giving away three runs in the first inning alone. And we're putting the Royals on the hook. Will they win game two tonight? Stephen A. I don't think so. Um, it wouldn't surprise me at all if the Royals ended up getting swept. I don't think it will happen. So you're, oh, uh, I, I don't you're going I, for a sweep I, I already. Don't, I don't think it will happen. I think they, I, I'll give them one. Uh, but the San Francisco uh, Giants are no joke. Bumgarner is just a real deal. 21 scoreless innings in the World Series uh, before giving up. Uh, that home run uh, in the seventh inning, I believe. This dude was absolutely sensational. Skip, I saw one moment where he threw a 93-mile-per-hour fastball. His next pitch mm -hmm. was a curveball at 70 miles per hour. Yeah. I mean, this dude was all, I mean, he was just hitting his spots. Uh, he was going high and in on right-handed hitters, you know, low or high and away on lefties. Uh, he was absolutely sensational. It was just that simple. Uh, they put up three, a three spot in the first inning. They, you know, and then I watched Bochi, which is one of the reasons, once again, why he's such an exceptional manager. You get a cushion, you get a lead. What do you do? You get this Chicago out of there, and you bring and you bring in. I think it, I think it was Juan Perez. Why? Mm -hmm. For defensive purposes. Yeah. This guy is constantly, constantly thinking ahead. And I think big game James has been anything but. We know his ERA was over seven uh, in postseason action. Hasn't been himself. Hasn't been impressive at all. Been anything but big game James. But I thought he was hurt also by the umpire because he was throwing balls right on the outside. Side, right squeezed. in the edge of the, yep. of the plate, mm -hmm. got squeezed, wasn't mm -hmm. getting a call. So as a result, he came in a little bit more, and it was right over the plate, and San Francisco was going to expose that all night long. They're just experienced. You got Sandoval with a 24-game, uh, you know, you're getting on base in 24 consecutive postseason games. You look at Bumgarner, he's 3-0 and in the World Series, and in the postseason, a 32 and two-third innings a scoreless streak up until the seventh inning last night. Uh, when you look at them, I'm just saying to myself, they're just a, a superior team. They're experienced. They've been here before. They know what they're doing. And even though I'm suspect on PV because his ERA is like over mm -hmm. seven and I'm not that impressed with him, he is gutsy. He does show up and he keeps you in the game. And to me, that's all Bochi and Posey and this crew needs. Mm. They've got to win tonight. If the Kansas City Royals do not win game two tonight, I'm going I'm to sit there and pick them to win tonight's game, Skip, just for the pick. purpose. Kansas City, just for the purposes of them not getting swept. Because oh. if they lose tonight, they will but get your, swept. But your first inclination was they're going to lose I, I, I just think I know they're going to lose this series. I know San Francisco's the better team. It's just a matter of whether it's Well, you Bible didn't know. Games. Your deep source James in California. James Brown? Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Brown. Jeff my, Brown. My, my man, Jeff Brown. Jeff Brown. That, that, that's my resident baseball guru. Or it could be Pop. He followed I mean, me on Twitter the, the other day the, the, after you said that. The minute I said that, he said he was going to start following you two just right. to highlight for y'all uh -huh. how right I am. Okay. But it's because of his expertise. <laughs> Is he it's because of Northern or Southern California? It's Southern California. He lives about 30 minutes outside of L.A. Okay, well, then right. what's he know about the Giants? But he know, well, he's a native New Yorker, oh, and he's okay. a baseball aficionado, loves his baseball. Okay. Nobody knows more than my pops. So the combination of my pops and okay, Jeff, Jeff, I'm Brown. good. Yeah. So I'm going to give love to Jeff Brown, but Papa Smith, Ashley, mm -hmm. Basil, mm -hmm. Smith, my pops, mm -hmm. okay. he knows his baseball, too. So okay. full circle, you are picking the Royals tonight. <laughs> Back I'm, to the I'm, question. I'm, I'm yes. going to yeah. roll. I'm going to yeah. roll with the Royals tonight only because I don't want to disrespect them by assuming they're going to get swept. But they are losing this series. They well, are not it, winning. It, if they lose tonight, they are in grave danger they of getting swept. They lose tonight, they are getting swept. Okay. So the big question here is, did the bubble get burst last night? Okay. Yes. Or, or maybe the better question is, <clears throat> did the dam burst? And, and all those, those emotion-packed uh, momentum feelings that were built through the first eight games of the playoffs, did they get washed away in one foul oh, night? I see. Seven to one. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say this team bounces back. And, and wins impressively tonight. I, I'm not the biggest PV fan. I think he is beatable. I think he's gettable, especially for this team in this park at home. They're going to have to get, pick themselves up off the map because mm -hmm. I don't think they saw that coming. Mm -hmm. yep. They didn't see Hunter Pence in the first inning, who, who was 0 for 11 against big game James, who, who had not mm -hmm. hit a home run over the last 50 days mm -hmm. going deep to suddenly make it three to one and it felt like I mean sorry three to nothing and it felt like 30 to nothing mm -hmm. to me with Madison Bumgarner on the mound it was one of those nights Stephen if you watch closely in which I thought the Royals hit a lot of hard balls off PV I mean off uh, Bumgarner yeah you know they hit a lot of shots that got caught 
you know how weird baseball is. Some nights, you just you hit them where they are, yeah. and people catch it. And you say, God, we hung in. We had so many good at bats, and nothing happened. So what happened in the third? They get second and third, and nobody out, and you can't cash one time. Well, that's a problem. So I think they bounce back. Now they got a 23-year-old on the mound tonight, and this is effectively in, in Ventura, his first in year in the big leagues, that's Ventura. Right. And remember what happened when he came in in the postseason? The but game he got the, thrown in in relief for right. the first time in, I assume, his career. That's I don't right. know if he pitched in relief in the minors or not. But he got lit up. But then they came back, and you remember they beat John Lester. They came back from seven to three down. Sensation. I, I don't know how they did that. That made their whole year. But I'm going to say that the kid pitches very well tonight. He will pitch with poise, and he will pitch well enough for them to win by three or four runs. And okay. you'll say tomorrow, uh-oh, it's a series. Okay. I hope you're right, because I root for series. I can't stand blowouts. But San Francisco is so seasoned, so experienced. And if the games are tight, even though their bullpen with Herrera, with Wilson, with Holland is lethal, and we understand that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, not to mention this kid Finnegan as well, I look at, I look at San Francisco and just the manner in which – Bochy uses his bullpen. I mean, he just throws a whole bunch of stuff at you, and I just like what I see from these guys. I just do.